And we made it! You guys, welcome to Dubrovnik. We've been hanging out here in Croatia for the last week, honestly just chillaxing, traveling around the islands, not really filming and working much, but we decided to do a 24-hour trip here to Dubrovnik and we're gonna just find out what Dubrovnik offers and explore the town. So we just drove three and a half hours all the way from Split, did a mini road trip through all the way down to Dubrovnik. Now we're here in the middle of Old Town, right in the middle of the square and it's so lively. I did not expect Dubrovnik to be this amazing. Maybe what's your opinion so far? It's amazing. It's so beautiful. I'm mind blown. This is like my idealistic fairy tale town here in Europe and I'm so excited that I'm actually getting to see it with my own eyes. Especially since I've gotten a little taste of it with Game of Thrones, which is my favorite TV series. Hello, princess. Dubrovnik. Mm -hmm. Let's go. It's like the most impressive city I've ever seen from afar. Like yeah. the buildings, it's so medieval looking, it looks like it has a lot of fun, rich history. Also, fun, great fact, this is one of the major filming spots for Game of Thrones, which already you win me over because I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. So. And what was the city called? King's Landing. Looks like we're not really gonna get much of a sunset if you're down here, but still so beautiful and worth it. Welcome to my home. Okay, so basically, if you are cool and you come here, there's a fountain where you can drink holy water from. Does it taste good? It's really fresh. Wow, that's delicious. So Frank about Croatia let us know that one of the best ice cream places is Dolce Vita. So of course we're gonna try it dessert before dinner. Let's do it. Mm. We made it. Let's see if Frank is right about this one. Something happened that never happens. We both decided on the same flavor. We have such different taste palettes. <laughs> and I was looking at this. I got coffee and hazelnut Ferrero Rocher. Oh please. It's so good though. Okay, so ice cream is our first stop of our 24 hour trip. We really didn't make a schedule. We don't really know what we're doing and we didn't really do a lot of research. We're kind of just jumping into this and we'll see how the next 24 hours go. But I know that I got dinner sorted. I checked a million places. I know, it's really good. We made it. Now we're just watching sunset on this beautiful cliff. Moments like these I really appreciate. This is such a beautiful view. If you just keep going down, that's what we did. And then you'll see this. View of the cliffside. This beautiful restaurant. You can have drinks there. And the sunset right over there. I am so just enchanted by Dubrovnik. Can't wait to see what else we get to explore tonight and tomorrow because we just got here and already our minds are blown. And by the way, you guys might be noticing that I have a few scratches on my face and that's because when we were in Split and we took the little water tube out to go tubing with a boat, we were going really fast and I slipped off and then the tube just kind of was ripped right under me and then it completely scratched up my face. So you can see like, I have a little bit of scratches and bruising, but I'm all right. Are you kidding me? This place is so beautiful. Moment of truth, I looked for more than one hour for the right restaurant for tonight's dinner. I think I found it. It's called Restaurant Dubrovnik. We're coming at it. You have to go through these small little alleyways. This restaurant is Michelin recommended, so it should be tasty. And it is dinner time here at Dubrovnik Restaurant, and we've been given our first dishes. We got a ravioli with uh, balsamic vinegar wine reduction sauce, caramelized with porcini mushroom sauce. It knocked us out of the park. Like, it was so good. We literally got one. It was just a portion of one ravioli that split into half. It's so delicious. We've been given these palate cleansers, which are foie gras with chocolate. I've actually seen that pairing before in Mexico at a resort we stayed at called Eshkret. 
but uh, and now we're supposed to wash it down with these snail shells, but there's no snails in it. It's chocolate and I think coffee. I'm not sure. It's like a sorbet. It tastes really good though. I don't really eat foie gras, but today I'm going to be brave. I'm going to try some very uh, nice and <clears throat> pricey, delicious Michelin recommended foie gras, which I never do. Are we ready? Is it good? I love it. Half or whole? The whole thing. Uh, Dubrovnik restaurant is supposed to be rated one of the best here in the city with the service, the views, um, the food, the quality of, ever, of the ingredients as well. They use whatever is available and fresh in the market. So, so far it's really good and they gave us this like balsamic vinegar and it comes from this region in Italy where apparently the best balsamic vinegar should come from. So I'm going to take a picture of this and buy it <laughs> for myself because it tastes really freaking good. And we have these like really cool touch lamps that you can change colors of with a tap of your finger. Pretty neat. I love when restaurants pay attention to detail. It just makes the experience so much nicer. We ordered some delicious 72 hour slow roasted cooked lamb along with a beautiful truffle porcini mushroom risotto. This smells like heaven, so let's try it. It's gone with the lamb. It's also covered with pistachios, I believe. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, that comes off like butter. Oh my god, really though. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Now, the risotto? Mm. Really hot, but man, explosion of flavor. Delicious. Well worth what this is about to cost. I ordered tiramisu. Mistakes were made. Uh, baby. I don't see my dessert. Can you please go find it? Meal was great. Dessert, disappointing. Was it worth $125? Maybe. Round two, we uh, weren't happy with our dessert at the last place. We decided this restaurant that we just passed by that has great reviews, looks delicious. We're gonna try a few things. It's called Dubravka. All right, so we, uh, we went with the cheesecake and the apple cake. Mmm. You know grandma made the apple pie down in the kitchen. So good. Morning everybody. We, uh, I'm not gonna lie, we slept in a little bit today. We came straight to the same restaurant we had our dessert at last night and we had breakfast. Anyways, we're gonna go off and I think find somewhere to swim because it's really hot today. So, so far our morning has just been very relaxed. tell by now. I think it's pretty clear that we're we're creatures of habit. We're back at the same place that we were last night for sunset, but that's because of how beautiful it is. And we're ready to go for a swim. The water looks blue, ready, fresh, and perfect. So we're gonna get out there because I'm seriously melting. It's so hot. It's not really a pleasant thing walking around during the daytime. It's definitely better at night, and that's why you see a lot more people at night too. Anyways, let's get in the water. We're about to go cliff jumping. You gonna take it away? You're gonna jump with me. You're the fearless one, not me. No, 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 no. <laughs> you wanna jump with me? I think the answer is yes. And here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! I got him. <laughs> Drinks, boats, island, kayak. What else could you need to have the perfect summer? Wow, that was the best. There's nothing better than just getting in the water when it's a really hot day and just enjoying and swimming around. The first time I ever went to Europe, I saw Aperol Spritz everywhere and I tasted it and I was like, I'm not a fan. But that was 2018, so um, we're gonna try it. And I must say, I'm kind of a fan. Not a big fan of the aftertaste, but there's something about it that reminds me of a gin and tonic, so I kind of do like it. All right, I changed my thoughts. Not really a big fan of the Aperol Spritz. Like I said, it, it's great, but not for me. Not my taste palette. Shame. <laughs> shame. I did it. I walked down the stairs of shame. For all you Game of Thrones fans out there, right here is one of the most iconic scenes that was taken from the entire show. And this 
Brazil. Oh, Brazil, yes. <laughs> These are called the Jesuit stairs. You might know them better as the stairs of shame. So this is the part where Cersei Lannister comes down the stairs fully naked while everybody in the town is just throwing her all the food and all the gross stuff around. And this scene is the most iconic for me in the movie, besides the scene where like main, every main character is killed in the end. But uh, it also has this insane iconic view right over there. Did you watch this part of the show, babe? No, I didn't make it that far. You didn't? He's not a real Game of Thrones fan like I am. I watched the whole thing. This for me is like seriously really cool. Alright, so we have made it to our dinner spot. We came here a little early because we're actually quite hungry and decided that we would eat dinner before sunset. Uh, but anyways, we went to this place which is really well rated online and Frank about Croatia, which is a guide I've been following here, who's actually really good. He's been giving us great recommendations. He said this place was great and I also found multiple articles online and has great multiple Google reviews. And also, it happens to be Michelin recommended 2022. So I'm gonna guess that it's a really great spot to eat. It's a traditional Bosnian cuisine and I'm excited because I've never even had Bosnian cuisine before. All I'm gonna say is I spent a few hours today deciding what to eat and I think I made the right decision. Mm -hmm. Why did they give us gum with this meal? <laughs> I don't know. That is for the onions. We take care about everything. <laughs> Thank you. Also, they have these cute little things where you press the button and the the, the serviette soaks up all the water. No, it's after the meal because you eat it with your hands. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the real test taster to uh, give their opinion. Taste tester. Taste tester. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Really, really good. All right. This is the uh, chivapi. Chivapi. Chivapi, smothered chivapi. in butter and onions. Mm, I already know I'm gonna like this with the onions. This, don't let this fool you. This looks simple, mm -hmm. but it's not. The flavors are pretty complex. We got really great buttery, soft, like pita bread with a really great, tasty, zingy sausage. And man, that extra butter with onion. This is like the best meat wrap I've ever had. It's so freaking good. They deserve to be Michelin recommended just based off of this. Meatballs? Ooh. Ooh. We ordered meatballs, mashed potatoes, as well as roasted lamb. All I have to say is if you guys have 24 hours into Grobnik like we do, I would totally recommend this place to be your first food stop, Taj Mahal. Look, we're not a food channel here, but I'm gonna just pop on here real quick and say, just come. And I love when places pay attention to little details. Look at my drink! It's called like a Rahu, I don't know what it's called, but it's something Moscow Mule. Look at how it came, it looks beautiful, and it came with a Turkish delight as well. That dinner at Taj Mahal was seriously insane. Our two year anniversary is coming up pretty soon. And when we both met, he used to tell me, I'm not a man of desserts. I don't like desserts. And two years later now, here we are bargaining how many dessert sweets we're gonna have tonight. Uh -huh. he I'm, wants bargaining. <laughs> I'm bargaining to stop your nonsense. <laughs> we both want ice cream, but we also want banana chocolate cake and date cake. So we're bargaining to get one cake instead of two with ice cream. We'll see what happens, stay tuned. So we made it to the oyster and sushi bar, which we're only here for the dessert, which Frank said was delicioso. And we decided to get the date cake and then get the ice cream after that. I'm so excited. And also they're playing beautiful classy music and we're in this like stone covered little archway hall. It's a beautiful vibe, honestly. Okay, I have a confession to make. We saw two pictures of this place, the banana cake and the date cake. And we switched it around. We thought this was the chocolate cake, no, this is the date cake, but it's fine. Less is more and she also highly, highly recommended the date cake, so here it goes. Moment of truth, here we go. That's really good cake. Actually, it's really good. A little small for me, for my liking, but um, honestly, it's really good. Fudgy wudgy, kinda tastes like a brownie. Delicious. And of course, delicious ice cream. We're back here again. Same flavors. Yes. That's all for Croatia, you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my videos. Hope y'all have the best day ever.